Hi guys, it's the Walk In Zero Zero Dead here. So today I'm doing a reply to Bob Samurai's monthly pickups of February. I personally haven't done like a monthly pickup since like October, so I'm gonna do January to February's monthly pickups, and then from there on I'm gonna do like every two months a monthly pickup. So hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so this is all the anime and manga and computer games that I bought over January and February. So let's get started. You can see it's quite a stack. The first thing I got was for the Nintendo DS, and that was Dragon Ball Z, Goku, Densetsu, I always fuck this up, um, it's like a card game basically, really random. Only just bought it the other day, uh, literally last night at work and it was like 3 99 So, 3 99 for a game, you can't really go wrong. The next thing that I got was uh, Naruto Volume 54. Which has the epic fight in it, which I'm sure everyone's read now. Actually, I'll start from this one. What we zoom? Right, this came today, and this is Claymore Volume 11. I've just decided to start uh, collecting all the Claymore manga to see what what was different than the anime, and you know, I want to see the, like the proper storyline. I just did an unboxing of all these today, so go check that out if you feel like it. So you've got volume 12 of Claymore. Really cool front cover of like a Claymore like graveyard with all the swords. Looks pretty awesome. Next up you've got volume 13 of Claymore. I pretty much bought all of this off Amazon UK if you're wondering. It's cool. The next thing is Pluto, which personally I think is an amazing sci fi manga. It's a bit like Blade Runner in a sense. And it's made by. Actually, sorry, it's a retelling of Astro Boys, the world's like seven strongest like or greatest robots. It's a bit like a murder mystery, sort of, in a way. Highly recommend you check out Pluto. It's pretty cool. The next thing I got was Full Metal Alchemist the Profiles. Basically, while I do my anime character profiles, uh, I just thought this would come in handy. Give you a quick little look. See if I can land on a profile like there. There's like Scar's profile, so that whole page will be all to do with like Scar. And that one will be to do with Lust. Moving on to anime, I got Afro Samurai the Director's Cut. Thank you, Auto Zoom. This was like super cheap on Amazon. I think it was only like a fiver, so not bad for Afro Samurai. Then I got uh, Naruto Movie 3, which is the Guardian of the Crescent Moon Kingdom. I haven't actually watched this yet, because I really haven't had time. And this, I've got more better anime to watch than this, but you know, this was like two ninety nine on Amazon UK, pretty cheap. I then got Naruto The Lost Story, which has got like a bonus 17 minute like short episode on it and it's got a 40 minute episode which is like The Lost Story itself. And this was also like 2 99 on Amazon, like brand new posters and packaging so I thought why not. The next thing I got was a uh, Sacred Blacksmith. Which I'm really looking forward to watching, but I haven't got really around to doing it yet. I think this was like twelve ninety nine on Amazon UK. The 
Next, I got Hell Girl from America. So this is like Region One. I think I got this for like nine ninety nine, if I remember correctly. So this is the first season as well. So just to let you know. The next thing I got was uh, Season 1 of Spice and Wolf, which is absolutely incredible, and I definitely recommend you go check it out. Um, I think it's for like 19-ish quid, and I imported it from America. And it's coming out in the UK now, which is really annoying, and I'll probably buy it again just to get it for like the, re uh, the Region like 2 UK edition. Then got First Squad, which was nine ninety nine when I pre-ordered it. This is basically like Nazis and zombies in World War Two, and it's it's pretty cool. I think it's made by yeah Studio Four Degrees. They've done some really cool stuff. So if you like their stuff, I suggest you like check it out. It's got a plain disc. Nothing special in there. Um, I got this the other day in an unboxing. Which is XXX Holic Part One, ridiculous price of like four pound, like thirty brand new free posters and packaging of fans in UK. I haven't watched it yet because it literally I got this yesterday and did an unboxing video for it. There you go. And we've got part two of XXX Holic, which also was ridiculously priced at like four pound thirty, brand new, free posting packaging on Amazon UK. Some pretty cool artwork in there. Uh, I was told by the same people that did Code Geos, so if you like Code Geos, you're more than likely going to like this. It's got the same sort of people that did it, so. Next up is Technolized, which is like a gritty, sort of dark sci-fi anime. Thank you, Water Zoom. It's basically about an ex-boxer, this guy, and he gets his arm and his leg chopped off by his mafia, and then he's given like new bionic arms and limbs by this doctor, and it's called Technol Technolization, I believe it's called. I really like the artwork on the discs, it's got this really cool like water colour sort of style to it. I think it's cost me seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. I then got the complete uh, collection of Bacano. Bloody auto zoom. And this was like fourteen ninety nine, so I thought I have to get it, even though I even own it in Region 1, I just wanted a Region 2 copy, because it's back now, and it's amazing. I then got the Orion High School Host Club, which I think was like £8.50, brand new, free posters and packaging, which is a really cool price. Watched a few episodes of this, I've really liked it. And yes, it is absolutely bright pink. Yeah, it's really funny, really funny little show. Next is the Anime Legends Collection Code Geass Season 1. Really looking forward to finishing Gundam Wing so I can start this. So I've heard such good things about it. As you can see from XXX Holic, if you look at the characters there, that's that same sort of like stick thin, skinny looking sort of characters. And that was seventeen ninety nine on Amazon UK, but you can't get it for that price anymore. I think it's like thirty quid. I got it just at the right time. 
Uh, I then got Welcome to NHK, and when I pre-ordered it, it was $17.99 on Amazon UK. I'm pretty sure it's the same price. Absolutely brilliant anime. One that probably knocked something off and to go into my top 10 list. Any water zooms going crazy, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this is a really, really cool anime. Highly recommend you check out NHK. Uh, I then picked up. Ooh, I've done it the wrong way round. Gundam. Uh, Do some quick editing. Uh, YouTube decided to crash, so I'll start over again. So the first thing I got from the Anime Legends collection for seventeen ninety nine was Gundam Wing. Sorry, just wait for the auto zoom. At the moment, I'm on episode twenty five, and I'm just about to start the second set. Absolutely love the Gundam discs in all of the seasons. So that's part one. Here's part two, which I've not started, and this goes up to episode twenty four. And then I got Gundam Double Zero, which I did an anime unboxing the other day, literally yesterday. And I got this one for sixteen ninety nine, and this is season one, and I believe it's got twenty five episodes on it. Super cool discs. Then I got uh, Gurren Lagann from the Anime Legends collection. This was seventeen ninety nine as well. Sorry about the auto zoom again. Haven't watched this yet. Just haven't had time. We then got uh, from the Anime Legends collection the melancholy of Harry He Suzumiya season one. And this was fourteen ninety nine, I believe, on Amazon UK. And the last thing that I got was the melancholy of Harry He Suzumiya season two. And I got uh, Harry He Chan Suzumiya, which is like the comedy sort of spin off y sort of thing. And this is like the deluxe box set version of it. So this is the Chan version, which is like the comedy sort of version of it. And then this is season two, which is called The Endless Eight Arcs, I believe. And uh, this was fourteen ninety nine, which is pretty good price considering usually on Amazon UK it goes for like 30, 35 quid. So I got it pretty cheap. So I was pretty chuffed with that. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you liked the massive haul that I did. And if you didn't notice in my intro, I actually did a little uh, tip of the cap to Bob Samurai there. If you didn't notice, my t-shirt was a zombie samurai. So um, if you just found my stuff and you liked it, you know, please subscribe and uh, go check out some of my other unboxings I did the other day. And, um, you know, give us the old thumbs up for supporting the anime industry. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.